Cruz, I'm Jay Ambro. Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium's Gorilla Yard and with our baby gorilla. He's making a lot of progress the past uh, couple of weeks since he saw you last, but he looks like he's getting ready to take a nap. We've discovered through looking at his records that he sleeps an awful lot. So if you happen to come to the zoo one day and you're looking for the baby, you may just see him sleeping. But you could see that even though he's sleeping, when I let, let my grip go a little bit, he's still hanging on. So if he were with his mom, he would do the same thing. So we try to continue to encourage that so he can continue to get strong. So some of the things that he's done uh, recently is he's uh, started to walk on the cement, which is a big accomplishment for him. He's also started to drink from a cup. Not very well, but he's drinking, he's taking some fluids from the cup. When he's in with his family, we have regular water drinkers. But on occasion, when one of the gorillas needs medication, we will actually give it with a cup. And so I just use a little paper cup, for instance. His grandmother gets a glucosamine for her joints, and she gets some aspirin when she needs it for her arthritis. And uh, anytime we, we give medication, if we can put it in a cup, we do for the gorillas. So it's really important for him to learn how to drink from the cup now. So he, he'll put his lip in, in the cup and he kind of spills it all over himself, but he's getting the idea. One of the things that is really important is he's learned to pick up food with his hand and actually get it in his mouth instead of his ear or his nose. So he doesn't get it every time, but he's getting it more than he did before. So just the other day I decided, well, it's time for him to learn how to climb on something besides the uh, staff. So I hung up some rope. We don't normally leave rope in for the primates um, because it isn't safe. But what, we do, what I did was I hung it horizontally and then padded underneath with a lot of hay. And then he, uh, I put his hands on it and he did the thing that most baby gorillas do. He, swung on it, hung upside down, turned inside out, and just was having a good time. And you can see his little baby gorilla laugh at the same time, you know. So each day I hang it up and get him used to it. And with our new climber, there's rope on that. And I noticed the first time he used it, which was very recently, he, uh, he was used to this, the uh, rope and he was climbing on the rope. And then he actually got his hands around the bamboo. I didn't think his hands were big enough to uh, actually hang on the bamboo, but they are now. And You know, we see him every day and we forget that he's growing. He's, he's uh, more than 12 pounds now and he's uh, quite muscular. You know, if you look at him, you can see all his muscle definition. You can see his biceps and his forearms are quite large and he's got pecs already and he's just solid muscle.